Happy Friday, people. Hello. Woo. Welcome to the First United Methodist Church of Loomis. I'm Ray. We've got Allison and Melanie. You guys wave and say hi. They know who hi. you are by now. <laughs> Hello. I'm Allison. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want to have to preach every week. No. No. Oh. Uh, uh, but it's Friday. It's been a crazy week. We had Memorial Day. We also had Pentecost Sunday last Sunday, which was fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing everybody wear the red. That was really cool. Oh, before we get started, I want to give Stu Kageta the biggest high five out there high. for getting through that scripture. High five! <laughs> and he pronounced those words with so much conviction, we didn't know if they were wrong or right. <laughs> Well done, Stu. Well done. So, Stu, you, you've got it in my book, man. Thumbs um, up, Stu. Thumbs up. <laughs> so it was great service. Uh, choir did a great job. We missed Martin terribly. He was out with COVID. He's back. He was at choir rehearsal last night and feeling great. So it was good to see him. Um, the choir, you guys did an amazing job. I watched the stream afterwards because I honestly, mm -hmm. I can't pay attention a lot when I'm playing the piano. I have to focus on too many things. Mm -hmm. So I watched the stream and you guys choir. Yay. Awesome job. Thank you. Um, come build a church. Great fun piece to celebrate Pentecost birthday of the church. We sang happy birthday to the church. Allison. I love the way you tied uh, the, the Holy spirit, the gift of the Holy spirit into unity oh, into good. bringing everybody together as one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that, and mm -hmm. um, I really appreciate you bringing that up. And it's kind of going to lead right into um, Reconciling Sunday this week. So. Which is your sermon. So what are you going to talk about? Um, yeah, Ray, what are you going to talk about? Well, so I, did, I picked scripture weird this time around, because I normally go with New Testament. I normally go with uh, usually something from the Gospels, usually something from what we used to call back in my day, the red letter edition. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, uh, which the red word, the red letters were the words of Jesus. Um, I'm going old school. I'm doing, I'm following your lead, Melanie. Old Testament. <laughs> old Testament. <laughs> All the way back to Genesis. <laughs> Whoa. So. Um, That's hardcore, dude. Yeah. It's uh, Cain murdering his brother, Abel. Uh -huh. So kind of what I'm leaning into is, am I my brother's keeper? Mm. and uh talking about all the things and it, it's it's going to tie into the lgbtq ia community and um, how we should be looking out for each other how we should be standing up for each other so and not battling each other and try to beat each other's brains in that kind of thing so <laughs> which it seems like that's all we do these days somebody hits somebody else and we hit back and it's yeah we need to yeah. be, I mean, stop when, when I was in New York, I saw someone punch a dog in the face. Uh, oh, my God. I was like, what kind of person? This woman was holding her puppy dog, and some guy walked by and just punched it. And I was like, dude, like, stop. Uh, People are out of control. You know, that's the answer. Maybelle and I were talking about that recently when one of the news reports came out of a kid being on somebody's porch at the wrong house. Yeah. yeah. I, there's been several of those. So, you know, I don't remember which one we were talking about. But just that that seems to be the answer now is just this immediate straight to violence. Yeah. It's insane. And it, it seems to be. And it seems to be spread so much through social media has been has turned into a cesspool of hate, yelling at everybody, especially when you're anonymous. Hmm. When you yeah. when you don't think anybody knows who you really are and you start spreading this stuff, you you feel like you can do it without consequence. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's definitely gotten pretty bad. Cause I notice when I talk to people one on one, we usually de escalate things, but th that seems to be changing. Yeah, so. have have either of you noticed it on the road too? Like people just seem more angry. Yes. Yeah. Whipping in and out of lane yeah. and just reckless. Yeah. It's reckless, reckless. Yeah. And it's sad. I mean, in my day, I mean, I don't think I ever really learned to swear until I started driving. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, 
Uh, and when I was like 18, 19 years old, I I, I, I sounded like I was <laughs> a sailor. Basically. Oh, yeah. That's, everyone knows I have a potty mouth. Someone called me Pastor Potty Mouth. Well, I can relate. Back in those days, I, How was, had, dare you? I was really, I had a very short temper when it came to driving. I'm better now. Mm -hmm. I still get into some situations where I'm like, ah, but. Um, I read an article where they said, if you swear more, you tend to have a better vocabulary. <laughs> I should have an IQ of 180 then. I was going to say, I am way smarter than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you do. All right. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to uh, Sunday. Um, I used to get really nervous when I had to speak in front of the church, but I, I don't really feel that this time around. Maybe because I just finished my sermon this morning and I haven't, normally I finish it like a few weeks ahead of time. I get to stew on it for a while. So, um, yeah, It's really bad when you wake up on Sunday morning and don't have a message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. Um, Honestly, I don't know how you do it week after week after that, week yeah. after week. There are some of those days where it's like, ah, <laughs> And when oh you're, gosh. I was gonna say when I was a kid, I just thought the pastor made it up as he went. <laughs> Sometimes they do. <laughs> um, pleading the fifth. <laughs> uh, so also on Sunday, Jane Delury is speaking, and okay. if you missed her last week in the podcast, she gave a much more detailed overview on the history of our reconciling ministry. Uh, last mm -hmm. Friday in our podcast. Mm -hmm. So go watch that if you want. But she's giving a scaled down version of that. Um, the choir singing. I'm trying to remember the name of the song. Remember me to lead into the mm. communion time. And okay. we're doing a special <laughs> communion for Reconciling Sunday. So yeah. I'm so glad fun. we're doing communion on Reconciling Sunday. Me Just, too. You know, the symbolism of it all, the the tradition of it and I don't know. It feels right. It's meant to be. Yeah, because there's so much going on. We talked about not doing it. And after thinking about it, it, was it like, feels good. Yeah. Yeah. It feels yeah, good. yeah. And I had so I reconnected with uh, a former we didn't really work together, but I produced their album back in like 1983, 84. Um, uh, I played piano um, for them on their album and I produced and they one of them reconnected with me on Facebook this week, and he's like, I didn't realize uh, that there was reconciling ministries out there. He said, I didn't realize. Oh. He said, I knew that you had come out of the closet years ago. He said, and I, I kind of kept tabs on you through other people. But he's like, I didn't realize that there were reconciling ministries out there. I said, I didn't either until I came to this church. And then he said, yeah. well, so you must have a lot of gay people at your church. I said, no, not really. Yeah. Three? Yeah. Maybe? Three? Yeah. Out of out of two or three hundred people we have members. Mm -hmm. So, so a lot anyway. of family members, I think. Like of our older generations, a lot of them have children or siblings. Siblings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So so anywho, come see us. We'd love to have you on Sunday. It's gonna be a fun service. Um yeah. really looking forward to it. Uh we Thank also you. have uh Leanna Glendy's service after the worship service on Sunday. It's at one o'clock, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um what announcements do we have? Uh Melanie, do you have anything you want to announce for the kids? Uh uh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to coordinate dates in the summer that there's about 14 things swirling around that I can't nail down dates for so no okay <laughs> <laughs> well i saw i saw that you scheduled a movie night a family yes movie. okay yes it's true we do have a family movie night on um june 25th at 6 p.m in the sanctuary we're going to do the live action lion king and y'all it's going to be a sing-along oh. sing to every song <laughs> I'm proud the circle of life and Hakuna Matata exactly <laughs> so uh please come uh, we'll have popcorn and and snacks so um that are easy to clean up but that's 
fun. Bring your, you don't have to be a singer. Just bring your joyful voice and let's sing Akuna Matata, y'all. Uh, I need to be careful <laughs> singing that. Disney might, <laughs> might hit us with a copyright suit or something. <laughs> All right. Yes. How dare you? How dare you? Um, yeah. Um, Allison, do you have anything you want to um, announce? Anything special before I go into our other announcements? No, just something to think about. Um, Casey, who does our website, was talking about um, maybe a couple of times this summer doing learn how to cook Peruvian desserts and, or um, appetizers. Ooh. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Yes. Anytime so, you talk food, it's gonna be fun. Right. I don't <laughs> care what it is. Well, and his mother-in-law is Peruvian, and he does oh, all wow. the cooking, so it's gonna it's it could be fun, a lot of fun. Wow, that sounds delicious. That sounds delish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So uh, I'm looking in the lantern. Uh, just a couple of things I wanted to point out. We have our June offering. Uh, our special offering is going to Peace with Justice. Uh, mm, if you want to make a check out to FMUNC, FUMC Loomis and put on the memo <laughs> line, peace with justice. That's a lot to say, isn't it? I'm sorry. That was funny for some reason. <laughs> um, we also have a note now that there are QR code cards available in the Narthex if you want to donate via credit or debit card. <gasps> we <gasps> have moved into the oh 21st century. Oh, <laughs> So that um, is really cool. As somebody who works in, in payments for a large corporation, that is really cool. So. I have no idea I'm going to tattoo it on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good on Ash Wednesday, you know. Yes. <laughs> donate. Donate. <laughs> Ash Wednesday, next thing you know, we'll be putting QR codes on our forehead. Just a stamp. <laughs> yep. Um. That's so exciting. Oh that my. is exciting. That is exciting. Um, there is uh is this I think this is the same one. Yeah, it is. Never mind. We talked about that before. Um, we talked about Pentecost Sunday. You just talked about the Lion King movie sing along, which is awesome. Living Treasure Sunday, July 23rd this year. Um, so that is the next to the last Sunday in July. Uh, it's immediately after the 9.30 a.m. worship service, and we'll celebrate four amazing treasures of the church. Okay. Yay. Who, and, who, who? and we're announcing those this Sunday the 4th oh. during worship. So, <laughs> um, Ooh, That's building also, excitement. And that is a potluck assignment for or a potluck for that Sunday. And the assignments are based on your the first letter of your last name. A through I is salads. J through P is finger foods. And Q through Z is main dishes. And we'll, the church will be providing dessert. Those so. poor Q through Z, they always get the main course. Yeah. I always get the salad. Me so too. It's like, okay, I guess I'll make potato <clears throat> salad or a macaroni salad. That's pretty much it. Finger foods. <laughs> Um, fingers. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's a really uh, important article in the Lantern about more Ukrainian families in need. Uh, Diane Pingree has um, a list out there. Uh, I won't go into all the details because it's quite a bit, but one of the family has a daughter in the hospital and they oh. need mattresses, they need comforters, they need pots and pans, pillows, a sofa bed. Um, and there's also another family is expecting a baby boy in a couple of weeks and just arrived in the United States. They need a king size bed frame, uh, iron, ironing board, all the stuff is listed in there. And there's another one that's expecting a baby boy shortly. Um, quite a bit of stuff out there. So, uh, it's in the lantern. Check out that article. If you have questions or if you know, um, that you have the ability to provide some of these needs, Contact Diane Pinkery, her number's in the lantern. And I think that's really important. I love that we do this. Mm -hmm. So we had the one family from the Ukraine come talk to us last year, or sorry, New yeah, Year's. It yeah, Christmas. it was, it was New Year's. It was the first Sunday mm -hmm. of, uh, of the new year. And it brought me to tears what they had to go through to get here. So, mm -hmm. um. And can we just say Diane Pingree has been serving and loving her neighbors 
for decades. Yes. Decades, decades, decades. Yeah, the yes. food pantry. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't, I mean, I didn't even realize that she was an instrumental mm -hmm. part of the food pantry way back when. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Diane's just a special treasure anyway. She uh, is. I miss her in the choir. I know she stepped down quite mm. a while ago, but mm -hmm. I just really miss having her there. She was such a good presence. Mm -hmm. um, and that's all I've got for announcements. Anything else you guys want to share? Um, I don't have anything else. No. Okay. Silence is golden. <laughs> we got nothing. Got nothing. I got plenty of nothing. Um, all right. We got quite a bit of uh, joys and concerns this week. I got a big list from Sharon yesterday. Um, Wendy Aiello's nephew, Joe, and his wife, Beth. Beth is having problems. She's in her eighth month of pregnancy. So Scary. Uh, Bob and Nadia Burleson, uh, Mother Pat, um, she had to put her husband, Gene, into memory care, and they've mm -hmm. been together for 70 years. Mm -hmm. um, Pat Brown's childhood, childhood friend, Jan, was diagnosed with dementia. Um, Claire's friends, Chewy and Tom, are both battling cancer. That's Claire Camp. Fred and Kay Berryman's friend, Valeria Singer. Surgery for a broken pelvis is now infected with sepsis and has AFib oh, and is currently in gosh. rehab. That's just a... Uh. Wow. Um, that's all I've got for joys and concerns. I think there was uh, another one that Wendy and Judy Connor are asking for prayers of healing for... Um, healing of the eye of Wayne's sister, Dorothy. She's been diagnosed with glaucoma. Had a stent placed in January, but she continues to have vision issues along with high pressure in the eye. Uh, do you have any other concerns you want to share? I have one. Um, my friend Jay, who fell out of an airplane last summer, um, she had a total hip replacement yesterday. Mm. It was kind of like her, her final big surgery, but they had to wait for everything else to heal first. And she did great. She's doing really well going home today um, and was feeling really strong beforehand, but was a little nervous going in because of the trauma of, you know, a million surgeries last summer. Um, but she's doing great and is headed home today but pray for her recovery. Yeah. And that should really help her. I mean, getting that hip replacement. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. Make her life less yeah. complicated. And I know for people who've gone through you know, body trauma, they know this, but it's like she fell on her right side, but it's her left side that's so messed up because of the reverberation or something like she broke her right femur, like she fell on her femur and broke it. And that's awful, but it heals perfectly. A femur heals well, but the left side is like all this other weird out of joint out of, you know, like it's the whiplash. Yeah. Yeah. Like when yeah. you hit the other side. Yeah. 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 So it doesn't break it. Like reverberate yeah. i'm not saying that correctly but you know what i mean so well and that's what i'm glad i can't do math to figure out like <laughs> how hard she hit right. what that I impact i know i know she basically free fell for 10 stories yeah oh my gosh yeah not good she's lucky to be alive but today she this morning she was in such a good mood and i think it was because she was relieved like oh this isn't near as bad as what i went through last summer like do you know what i'm saying she yeah was, like, yeah. oh, this is this is easy. I got this. <laughs> so yeah. good. Uh, we did have a oh. few joys too. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. I've got a joy too. My friend Lisa, her daughter Leah, is now doctor ready. She's a dentist. Oh, so nice. Graduated, and that's the wedding I did on December 23rd. So nice. Good. Good for her. Uh, we have quite a few joys as well which is good. I love when we have joys because we don't get those a lot on the podcast, but we, Jerry and Gove selling, celebrating his 80th birthday this mm -hmm, weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, Ray and Pat Brown celebrated their 38th wedding anniversary on May 27th. Uh, June and Carol Neely's daughter, Christine had her six month scan and all was clear. <gasps> Yay. That's um, great news. 
All right, Emmett remains cancer-free after a fourth clean PET scan. And Kathy Deem's sister, Linda, is on the bucket list trip to Italy. Yeah, she took flat Jesus with her, and I've been getting photos. <laughs> flat see. Jesus having dinner. Flat Jesus turns water into champagne. <laughs> <laughs> There's always room for Jesus. Um, and that's all that we've got. Um, I thought there was one more I was going to bring up for Joy, and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, uh, uh, Dwayne and Bev Bruce celebrated 50 years right. of marriage. That was last Sunday. How are they old enough to be married for 50? I know. I know. I know. Um, they got married like when it. they were two? Yeah, right. And I do want... I do have to show my aunt Sandra has been getting cards from people at the church. Um, nice. She was just really, really overwhelmed with joy over those. So I did want to share that. So those who sent my aunt Sandra cards, thank you. So nice. How's she doing? She's good. Her uh, test is on Tuesday, the 6th. Okay. Okay. Oh. She hasn't had it yet. No, okay. um, she's, but she feels better about it. So. Um. That's it. Allison, you want to lead us in a word of prayer? Um, sure. Uh, gracious God, just thank you for this lovely community and um, how grateful we are that we uh, make our best effort to welcome all. And we'll be celebrating our reconciling ministry commitment and our commitment to each other and our community to be a place of um, openness and, and loving care and compassion. And um, for all those who are in need of prayer, we send all of our best wishes and um, healing prayers. And may we just go forth this week and practice kindness and not get caught up in road rage and some of the vitriol that's out there. But um, just keep us kind and keep us loving. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Uh, well, sh short episode this week, I guess. After last week, we probably deserve it. <laughs> we had a really long episode last week, but it was such a mm -hmm. good episode. I, it was. I, I it, went was. Back and watched it. it was good to have you. Yeah, it was great to have you. Yeah, Jane. she's fun. And we put the invitation out there. If you want to share anything with us, come on the podcast and talk to us and laugh and have fun. And we'd love to have you. So, uh, and that goes for being with us on in person or online on Sunday at 930. Come join us. This fun day will be fun. Mm -hmm. We should change it from Sunday to fun day. Awesome. Ooh, great <laughs> idea. Reconciling fun day. Reconciling fun day. And then, um, yeah, the, the choir is going on break. So um, we have this Sunday and the following Sunday, and then we're on break until after Labor Day. So, Oh, y'all are taking the whole summer. Yeah, we usually do. We usually take off like the second or third Sunday in, okay. in June. Okay, okay. And then we're gone I'll until miss, I'll Labor miss Day. Choir. I'll miss you. I, I will too, except I am really looking forward to having my Thursday nights for a while. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Martin and I, uh, I talked to him this morning. We've rescheduled our concert for oh. July 23rd. Oh, okay. Sunday evening at 7 p.m. I'm also working on a concert for August 2nd at a local Mexican mm -hmm. restaurant, which I can never pronounce the name. Um, that's with another friend of mine, Kathy West Packard, who, um, I worked on her CD. So we're looking to do a joint concert with her. So more to come. Is your, um, Broadway thing with Martin, is that at the Chautauqua Playhouse? Yes, it is. Uh, we got that date from them finally this morning. They, they said okay, they were good. available. It'll so. be in the evening so I can. Yeah, it should be seven o'clock. Oh, okay. Change it. Yep. All righty. Well, have a wonderful week, everybody. And I will see you two on Sunday. And see you uh, Sunday. Yeah. We'll I'm sorry. Some fun. fun day. Fun day. Fun. Bye. 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 Bye.